Sasha, wake up. You can do this. I know you can. Open your eyes. I can't believe it worked. Sasha? Is that you? Are you alright? How do you feel? Uh, of course. Y you may have trouble speaking for a while. I've had to transfer your mind into a different body. It was our only shot at pulling you from the simulation safely. I know, I know. Bet you have plenty of questions, and I'll tell you what I can, but first, let's get you out of here. Come on, we have to hurry. This is the Atlantic Union's lunar base. Oh, don't worry, the body you're in belongs to the officer keeping you in custody. You're practically invisible. Just act normal and you won't attract unwanted attention. I should probably introduce myself. I'm an undercover operative here at this base. You can just call me Beta. After the Strelka N3 incident, the Atlantic Union captured and subjected you to an experimental procedure. A neural simulation created to extract information from deep within your mind. One more day in there, and we'd have lost you. Lucky for you, the Cosmo Bureau entrusted me to help you escape. Just follow my instructions, and we'll get you out of here in no time. Okay. First things first, you gotta dress the part. You're gonna need a vac suit to make it to the ship docked just outside. How about that? Fits like a glove, huh? You can operate the grippers by squeezing the triggers to grab and manipulate objects. Use them to open the sliding doors in front of you. Perfect. I'm trying to open the airlock from here, but the power's out. You'll need a fuse to fix it. Search the workspace on the lower deck. The engineers always leave spares lying around. It's just going to draw their attention. Okay, this is a perfect chance for you to practice using your suit's built-in thrusters. Nice. Do the same to get to the next one. This time, you'll need to press the right stick to break mid-air. This will increase your precision when landing. Right. Easy does it. Your jetpack can make it, trust me on this one. Just make sure you keep holding forward until you reach the other side.
Good job. I'll open the storage unit. You're probably still feeling a bit disoriented from the neural transfer. This might help jog your memory. All these items were recovered from Strelka N3 after the incident. They were used to recreate the simulation you were subjected to. Your suit features a built-in scanning tool. Press the face buttons on the left side to cycle between your different tools. You can get additional information about objects that you scan. Try it out. This'll help to refresh your memories and settle your mind. Staz Volkov, your closest friend back at Strelka N3. He was shot and gravely wounded. Then, after the incident, just... nothing. No sign of him ever since. We fear the worst. Sasha Riss, your true identity. They led you to believe you were someone else in order to increase the simulation's chance of success. You left behind some friends on Strelka N3. I know you and Stas were close. Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon. It was selected as the ideal home for Strelka N3. The full Strelka N3 crew. You were a small but proficient team. The red matter. Very little is known about this substance. It was the spark that triggered the Strelka N3 incident. Irina Sarova, Strelka N3's resident biologist. She was killed shortly before the incident took place. Irina and Staz were romantically involved. That sound. Weird. There shouldn't be anything still operational around here. Sasha, see if you can find out where it's coming from. A long-range transmission terminal. Looks like it's picking up an incoming signal. How is that even possible? Use the right gripper to detach the interface tool on the left side. Once detached, connect it to the terminal's access port. It's... it's him. Sasha, you're talking. It's Stas. It's Stas. Stas Volkov, your teammate from N3, your friend? That, that... that's not possible. He was presumed dead. He is not. It's a distress signal. His ID is encoded in the message. That's great news. Okay, let's locate that signal. Tosca Station? Tosca Station. We can reach it from here, but the clock is ticking. You have to hurry. Wait, me? Shouldn't the Cosmo Bureau be handling this? No, they'd never make it in time. You know him better than anyone else, so you're our best shot. I'm uploading the coordinates to the shuttle's navigation system. It'll be ready when you are.
All right, there's just some stuff I need to take care of before I get out of here. I'll contact you just as soon as you've entered orbit. Understood, Beta. And thanks for getting me out of here. Hey, just another day on the job, right? Safe travels, Sasha. Flight plan loaded. Optimal route calculation completed. Initiating startup sequence. Engine parameters. Green. Systems. Nominal. All checks completed. Lift off in five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Sasha? Do you read? I see you're approaching Tosca Station. Looks that way. What can you tell me about the place? It's a classified scientific research facility orbiting Saturn. Okay, but why would Stars go there? Well, according to his file, before being transferred to Strelka N3, Stars was first stationed at Tosca. It's where he and Arena both met. He supervised base operations and assisted with Project Lazarus. Project Lazarus? It was Zarina's project. It's the main reason the place was built. I'd love to tell you more about it, but I'm not authorized to access that data. Don't worry about it. We'll find some answers soon enough. Proximity alert. Approaching destination. Initiating deceleration sequence. Thrusters. Ready. Main drive. Ready. Inertial dampeners. Ready. All checks completed. Here we go. You nervous? I've never done this before. Don't worry. It's all automated. Just enjoy the ride. Hailing talking beacon. Link established. Calculating approach vectors. Path verified. Initiating docking maneuver. It'd be a piece of cake. That's gotta be Stars' shuttle. It is, yes. The ship is still broadcasting the distress signal. Empty. Main power is out and systems are damaged beyond repair. This thing hasn't flown in a while. Huh. That checks out with the transmission delay. Nexus terminal is working, but the entrance is locked. The doors won't open. Could Stas have done this? <sighs> there must be a way to unlock them.
Beta, Vlad is sending me a message. The virtual logic assistance drive? It's gotta be tapping into my suit's systems via the access port. The station is massive. How'd they keep it hidden? Space is vast, Sasha. If you're not looking for it, you'll never find it. <sighs> Worked. Excellent. Let's get inside. What is going on? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Just a slight headache. I'm fine. <laughs> 